I want to tell you about something. I want to tell you about you and us. It's an organization that was started here uh, in the spirit of the community. Okay, it says on their little card here, we are committed to improving the lives and disadvantaged ch lives of disadvantaged children and families in Monte Ecuador. My name is Jimmy Pass. I'm a director of volunteer. He leaves his cell phone number here and his contact information. You can make a difference. Your participation is welcome. And what this is about is a charity here in Monta, all about children. Okay, it's called You and Us. And what we did on uh, July 4th, we had a get together at one of the nice restaurants here. Uh, you'll see some video clips of it here in a minute. And, and we did a fundraiser. And we raised over a thousand dollars that day, just in four hours, for this organization, you and us. Okay, uh, here's a little clip of me interviewing Jimmy uh, at the at the fundraiser. So I'm sitting here with Jimmy, and we just got finished up this you and us. That's this. Look at this shirt right here, you and us. This is a, the benefit for the children. Tell me a little bit, Jimmy. What exactly is the you and us organization? Uh, yeah, I, re I represent you and us for Montes Children. Um, we help the children of Manta, uh, disadvantaged children, whether it be teaching them English, bringing them food, providing backpacks, toys during Christmas, uh, shoes, uniform for school, anything that kids might need that are disadvantaged. Okay, so we're holding this event here today. I can't pronounce the name of this restaurant. What is the, the name of this? How do you pronounce this place? This is El Recero. El and it is, they have really supported us big time. They've supported us in the past, and I think we're just stuck with them. Great restaurant, great food. So as you can see from the video that I did earlier, we got a pretty good crowd here. How much money did we get together? Yeah, we have over 110 people here, and uh, we've raised $2,200 in ticket sales. Wow, so some of that goes to the restaurant, and the rest of it goes to the, right, the charity. Right, right, so. and uh, they also given us a cut of the drinks. So, yeah. I, you know, we just got part of the profit right now. We got more to come. Okay, and this is not the only time of the year that we do something like this. You do this. You have other events throughout the year? Yeah, we, we usually do the 4th of July, we do Halloween, um, and those are really our big fundraisers that we do, but um, normally everything else is just giving back to the community. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank I appreciate you. Everything support us, you and us for Montes Children. You betcha. You're welcome. Thanks. See you later. And here's some stuff that we, you know, here's, uh, we had a, a great band. We had a a great uh, reggae band. This is Bob Reed and his group uh, playing some music, and here it is. Like what we say. We had a good time. We had a good crowd of people. We had everybody. I think we all knew each other. And even though a lot of expats is kind of, um, well, you know, a few expats have left and some people have gone back to the States. Some people have gone back to North America. Some people have gone to Cuenca. But, you know, it's, it's as you can imagine, because of the conditions, you know, from uh, th that we've been going through here in Ecuador, uh, people are a little cautious, and there's not as many people uh, here right now. But there's a lot of people on the way, and I'm, I want to encourage you, if you're still thinking about coming here, uh, don't hesitate. I mean, you just be sure to keep in touch with the news and check with the State Department, see if there's any vital news about living in Ecuador right now. But it seems to me like things have settled down. There's still some crime. There's still some gang violence going on, but hell, we there was some of that before the state of emergency and before the new president was elected. So uh, it's just like right now, everybody's, you know, living with a little extra precaution, okay? Now, the other thing I want to talk about, and by the way, I'll put some information in the description about this you and us organization. And if you'd like to get involved, uh, get in touch with Jimmy. I'm going to put all this contact information in the description and get in touch with him 
and let him know that you want to be involved, okay? And we'll, we'll be happy to have you. The other bit of news I want to tell you about is I want to continue with this saga about my car. All right, now I want to just put a gentle reminder out here to everybody that uh, if you go in, if you go in the comment section and tell me uh, something like, uh, "Well, Don, you shouldn't have bought a car," uh, or "I wouldn't drive a car there," you know, I'm going to remove your comment and and maybe I'll just ban you from the channel too because I don't need to hear that, folks. I'm 72 years old and I don't need anybody telling me what I can and cannot do, especially if it comes to owning a vehicle. If I want to own a car, I'm going to get a car. That's my decision, not yours, okay? So let's just get that. I just want to get that out of the way. Don't waste your time writing comments to me. You send them out of car. I wouldn't have a car there. You're crazy for owning a car in Ecuador. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? So shut it, all right? Now, I want to tell you the story about the reason why I brought this up. As you know, and maybe you don't know, for those of you that already know this story about the tickets, go kick some rocks or something, okay? I'm talking to the people that don't know. Uh, about a year ago, I got, uh, I got a speeding ticket. I got a notification in my email about a speeding ticket. And sure enough, when I looked at to see where the location was, I kind of knew, well, um, yep, okay. I remember that day, and it was a $133 fine, and, but I found out that I could have gone to, well, I did go, I could go to an attorney and fight it for 50 bucks and probably get it dismissed, and that's exactly what I did. I hired uh, David Via Laurel, who's an attorney here in Monta, an excellent attorney, I might add, and I put a link to his information in the description, and he fought that ticket and we beat it and we got it dismissed. About two weeks after that, I got another one. And when I looked at the information on this ticket, it was in Whitekill. Okay, and then a few days later, I got another one. And it was in Duran, which is a suburb of Whitekill. All told, I got seven of these. Over the course of the last year, I got seven of these tickets, okay, speeding tickets through photo radar zones, 125 kilometers per hour and a, you know, 70 kilometer mile an hour, 70 kilometer per hour uh, zone. And of course the fines were $133. And I had to start paying David to fight these tickets. And just in case you didn't know, uh, me and my car have never been in Waikil or Duran. Another one was from Santa Elena. So anyway, I ended up paying over $1,000 to fight these tickets and to file what's called a denuncia and to change the registration of my car to get my name unassociated with that plate. Somebody cloned that plate and put it on a car very similar to mine, and they're driving around in Waikil and just doing whatever they want, and they don't care about getting speeding tickets. Thank God they haven't killed somebody with that car. I would have been charged for it. But anyway, I did find out that the way we fought these tickets and the way we beat these tickets is that nobody from the prosecutor's office showed up for these hearings. I had to go to a hearing for every one of these tickets. Nobody showed up. So they were thrown out. Okay, it, there's, there's something to be said about that, but I'm gonna be nice and not say, you know, I wanna say it's typical, typical behavior for bureaucracy in this country, but I'm not gonna say that. Even though I wanna say that, I'm not gonna say that. So, to make a long story short, I started getting phone calls yesterday uh, from a number I didn't recognize, and finally uh, they left a message and it was all in Spanish. So I called the number back, taking a chance to see if maybe they speak English, and they didn't. So I had Stella give them a call, 
and it was the police. And what the police were calling me for was to report to me that my car has been stolen and it's been burned. It was set on fire and destroyed. I guess destroyed. They just said it's been burned. So I immediately ran downstairs to the parking garage to see if my car was still here. And sure enough, it's here. So the car in Wykill that had the clone plates, that cloned my plates, uh, has been destroyed. I just hope it's been destroyed and, and it's been taken to a dump or somewhere and discarded and, you know, they uh, destroy the plates and all that kind of stuff. I sent all this information to David and he basically told me uh, to essentially just don't call him back anymore and just leave it alone and this, the situation will go away. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't have a real warm and fuzzy feeling about it, but you know, what am I gonna do? So anyway, maybe the story with the tickets is over with, you know. Um, I know that I've paid uh, a lot more money than I would have, you know, or no, actually, I saved a lot of money. I mean, I, if I'd had to pay for all the tickets, they would have been $133. Actually, they were going up, you know, because what happens is you get a ticket, if you don't respond to it within three days, then they, they increase the fine exponentially. And those seven tickets were, instead of them being seven or $800, they were well over $1,000. But I, I paid to, for the attorney uh, to handle this for me, and he did a he did a fine job. So, anyway, all right. What else I want to talk about? Uh, the weather's been fantastic. It's cooling down quite a bit. There hasn't been any violent crime here, here in Monta that I know of. There's been some around the country. Enough negativity for today. I. Uh, I think that's it. So with that, I'll sign off and see you in the next one, okay? Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao.